Little Miss Brainy by Roger Hargreaves. Read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. Little Miss Brainy was very brainy. She knew an awful lot of things. She knew simple things, such as if you want a good night's sleep, you have to go to bed. And if you want to get up, then first you have to wake up. She knew that if you don't want to be hungry, you have to eat. Little Miss Brainy also knew lots of very clever things. She knew that it was quite impossible for centipedes to find matching coloured shoes for all their feet. Now, Little Miss Brainy knew so much that people got to hear about it. They came from far and wide to ask her questions. Mr Messy called to see her. What can I do to keep myself messy? he asked. I know, cried Little Miss Brainy. Don't wash. Mr. Messy was delighted. As Mr. Messy was leaving, Mr. Dizzy arrived. Is there anything heavier than a hippopotamus? asked Mr. Dizzy. I know, said Little Miss Brainy. Two hippopotamuses. Is that so? said Mr. Dizzy. I'll go and check. Mr. Clever arrived. What colour is my green hat? he asked. I know, sighed little Miss Brainy, nodding her head. It's green, of course. Oh, you know so many clever things, exclaimed Mr. Clever. Mr. Clever left, and so did little Miss Brainy. She had had enough of listening to such simple questions. So she travelled to a place called Cleverland, where she hoped that everybody would ask her some difficult questions for a change. When she got there, she stopped in front of a tree. There was a pig sitting on one of its branches. However am I going to get down from here? wailed the pig. I know, said little Miss Brainy. You can jump down. Good idea, said the pig. And jump down in the end of the top. Oh no! And being a clever lamb pig, he jumped right on top of little Miss Brainy. You're not as soft as a pillow, he complained and he trotted off. Further down the road, Little Miss Brainy met an elephant. He had a knot tied in his trunk. Please help me, how can I undo this knot in my trunk? He asked in a very funny sort of way. I know, said Little Miss Brainy, I'll undo it for you. And she did. Phew, gasped the elephant and blew Little Miss Brainy high into the air. <laughs> I, I feel much better now, said the elephant. I don't, moaned little Miss Brainy and rubbed her head. The elephant had blown her some distance away and she landed in front of a lion. I'm starving, growled the lion. What can I eat? Little Miss Brainy looked around. but She could see nothing and said quickly, I don't know. And she ran home before the lion realised that she was the only thing to eat for miles around. If you enjoyed this book, please hit subscribe. We've got lots more lovely books to share with you.